I welcome you all for this chapter dealing with the introduction to the organizational structure. This chapter is very, very important because it forms the basic of any functional course that you are about to take. So let me take you into what exactly is organizational structure and how it looks like, how it can be matched with the real world objects or real world procedures that is already been followed. You have many questions like whether organization structure is followed only in SAP. Uh, what about anything else other than SAP? And few more questions. You'll get answers for all these questions when we scroll down the slides further. To start with, every organization has some framework or in other words, we can say they have some structure in defining the whole business process because they run the business with some process in place. That process is represented in SAP as an organizational structure or an enterprise structure. Enterprise structure defines various levels in an organization. These levels are placed according to some hierarchies. We'll see more in the coming slides about what are these hierarchies and what is it all about. To start with, a good organization structure is required in order to make a very good SAP implementation project. For a successful implementation project, Mapping your company's organizational structure into the SAP system accurately is important. Better decisions has to be made and the same has to be shared with the stakeholders and the implementation team regarding what the organizational structure is all about as they are the key resources who will be using the objects based on this organizational structure. From a material management perspective, you have some org elements which forms an organizational structures like plans, purchase organizations, storage locations, purchasing groups, and so on and so forth. Similar to these org elements that is available in material management, we do have separate org elements that is available for different modules like finance module, which is usually a company code, and for sales module, which is usually a sales organization or division, etc. Why do I take examples only related with MM, FI, and SD? It is because these three modules are considered as the core modules in SAP. You'll get more information when we go on in detail. All SAP S4 HANA organizational structure are agreed between the customers and the project's implementation team at the very start of the SAP projects. Because they get the base of what it is as per the changing requirements of the customer. Now, the organizational structure in material management. It consists of client, company code, plant, storage locations, purchasing organization, and purchasing group. In the next lecture, you'll be learning everything that we have discussed in detail, like material management's organization structures and its components in detail, and how it is used in the SAP system. You will also learn how to configure the organization structure in the SAP S4HANA system.
you would be able to differentiate the organization structures in various industries and you will also learn the way to map them in the S4HANA system. Hope you have enjoyed this session. See you in the next lecture.